is ten times. You don't see people robbing stores at gunpoint to get money for tobacco and alcohol. Well, the same thing would hold true if the other drugs are put at a decent price. You put them in hospitals and in pharmacies and places. You don't sell them in 7-Eleven stores, but you put them in places where people can come, admit their addiction, be able to buy what they need. Then you at least get a grasp on, okay, now can we wean this person off of the drug? And I think that in nine times out of ten, the addict would go for that. The addict would go to stop being controlled by this drug. But the only way that's going to happen is through legalization. It's not going to happen through prohibition. And people need to wake up to that fact. That could be a university dissertation. I know you taught at Harvard. That was perfectly said with all the facts. I mean, look at prohibition ending, uh, you know, in the early 30s. And the police had been corrupted. Alcoholism had tripled. Uh, billions had been made by the mafia and, and corrupt groups and Joe Kennedy. And so they literally went and lobbied the well-meaning Christian PTAs and people to go all over the country and get drug laws, state and federal passed, where they'd put you in jail for 20 years for a marijuana cigarette so that they had something new to deal. And then women need it because it's so expensive, so they become prostitutes and the, and, the, and the local government thugs can run that. I mean, this is all a racket and everybody knows it and... I don't see how long the drug war can go as the public, all the polls show, want decriminalization across the board, Jesse. Well, then what you've got to do, Alex, is simple. You have to start electing people that agree with that position. I, I remember when I ran for governor of Minnesota, during the election, I brought out, I made a simple statement. I said, it's time to look at legalizing drugs and prostitution. Oh, my God. The head of the, of the uh, Independence Party of Minnesota went ballistic. She thought I had blown the whole election. She goes, oh, we were contending. Now he opened his mouth on drugs and prostitution. We're going to lose the election. It's all lost. And I'll never forget my partner, Dean Barkley, who was, who was instrumental in getting me to run for governor. Dean walked into the room and sat down and smiled very calmly and says, look, how do we take this lemon and turn it into lemonade? And he came up with a great idea, and it worked. He said, we're going to come out here with the position. Jesse Ventura is the only candidate with the courage to talk about these real issues. Because drug addiction is real. Prostitution is real. And he's not afraid to discuss real live situations and what the regular public... Yeah, but, I mean, through. exactly. There's, there's women everywhere that you take them out to dinner and you pay their bills. They don't call that prostitution. And, and, and what makes it horrible, and I'm not endorsing it, is the fact that there are pimps. It is illegal. These women are being suppressed by it being a black market, and all the studies show that. Oh, absolutely. Well, Alex, when you look at prostitution and you strip it all away, okay, in our free society... Any sexual act between two consenting adults is legal. So the only illegality about prostitution, the government's not getting the cut. They're not paying taxes. The government wants to be the pimp. They need their cut. And so, you know, that, that's all part of it, too. Follow the money. How The sex act itself is not illegal, so clearly it's the money. And then you run into a different scenario. Let's take a pornographic actor, someone who does pornography on TV for money. Is that not having sex for money? How is it they're not arrested? Is that not considered prostitution? They're having sex and they're getting paid to do it. It's just that they're doing it on film. So I guess it's considered an artistic Form. Well said. So well, I mean, bottom line well, is pornography is not illegal and prostitution is. How can how can that be? Well, I just know all the studies from around the world. It's incontrovertible. You make something illegal uh, that's a vice uh, that, 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 that doesn't hurt non-consenting people, you then make it dark, make it corrupt, make it black market, put tons of money into it, and now the mafia and the corrupt government and the police get to run it. And that's why they want it illegal, so that they can run it on the dark side, period. Well, and it's also so that the prices will go up. Because that's right. Any, anything that's legal, the price drops. You watch in Colorado and Washington how eventually the price of marijuana is going to drop there where it's legal because there will be competition.
abortion. There will be growers of marijuana who will decide, you know what, I'll undercut the price. And I'll sell more then because my marijuana will be cheaper. And that's called good, clean competition in capitalism. That's what drives prices down is competition. And if they're, and by legalizing marijuana, and then let's look at it from a different standpoint. For those that think Jesse might be crazy or Alex is crazy, marijuana itself is the best that you can get for creating biodiesel fuel. And then we can stop using corn and use marijuana and let corn be what it's supposed well, to be. Well, that's right. Hemp grows everywhere as well, and most strains don't even have THC. Final segment with Jesse Ventura, and we've got the exclusive. I'll hold him into the next hour after Ventura has to go. But, Jesse, you're going to get a chance to talk to Matthew Mills uh, on the other side. He's a listener, and we were able to get him on, uh, the guy that took over the NFL uh, post game, uh, Super Bowl Sunday, showed us that they're – Basically, is no such thing as security. He's coming up with Jesse Ventura. Nobel Prize winner Alexis Carroll, cell biology researcher, discovered a detoxified and nourished cell lives in a state of eternal youth. Clean cells will result in improved energy, mood, blood sugar, liver function, and skin health. Also, you can lose fat and keep or gain muscle and reduce or eliminate inflammation and more. To discover how to detoxify and nourish the 100 trillion cells of your body, call this free recorded message at 866-844-1047. That's 866-844-1047. Do you know about the NSA loophole? Or maybe you think your law-abiding ways are too boring for them to care about you. Tell that to the Virginia farmer who was audited by the IRS because of her Tea Party activities. Or the Texas man who woke up to a SWAT team raid because of online comments he had made about his gun collection. No, God-fearing Americans like you are in the crosshairs. Learn how to drop off the government's radar and get off the grid at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. Is the Second Amendment your line in the sand? Is the United States Constitution important to you? Are you worried about gun confiscation? You need to join us for free at gunconfiscation.com. At gunconfiscation.com, you will meet like-minded patriots, get the latest Second Amendment news, and find anything you need to prepare for gun confiscation. Visit gunconfiscation.com today. That's gunconfiscation.com. Which side are you on? Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a block at Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. What if you could shift into a parallel universe right now and be the solution to any problem you're facing? I'm Matthew David Hurtado, CEO of RNA Drops and author of Misfit to Millions, based on my true life story. Four years ago, I was dying with PTSD, Lyme's disease, and virtually homeless. Ion and the RNA Drops gave me a new life, new DNA, and the power to become a millionaire in just a few short years. I want to pay that forward to you. Get a copy of my book, Misfit to Millions, and I'll give you a free bottle of the RNA Drops, the product that saved my life. I've got $199 in free bonus gifts for the first 200 people that go to MisfitToMillions.com. That's M-I-S-F-I-T-T-O millions.com or call 888-550-8231. That's 888-550-8231. Take your power back. I always imagine myself making great plays, but you never think about being MVP. Investigate 9-11. Uh, 9-11 was perpetrated by people within our own government. And just those 15 seconds have now become a sensation all over the news as they attack him. But as it causes the, the, the debate, I'm going to hold him a little bit in the next hour after Governor Jesse Ventura leaves us. But uh, Jesse... Uh, 
Uh, he's a listener. He's been able to get in, and we're going to uh, talk to Matthew Mills. What do you want to say to him, Governor? Well, Matthew, I want to say, you know, unbelievable the courage you show, and I, I and good for you to speak your mind. Uh, I would ask this question of what are they going to do to you, or what are they doing to you for what you just did? Uh, am I on the air right now? Yes, you are. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I don't think they're going to do much to me. I only got, like, a summons, a ticket. And I, uh, I don't even think it's uh, for that much money. Uh, they grilled me for a while. They were really, really intense. Uh, it was pretty much everything but the spotlight in my face. They were real. Uh, the one guy actually uh, said he wanted to uh, punch me in my jaw. Uh, so they were kind of mad. But I don't think I'm going to get in any <laughs> big trouble. Well, that's, that's amazing. Uh, what's been the repercussion for you? Are there, are there media that want to talk to you, or are they marginalizing you and not talking to you? Well, I got con I got a bunch of calls yesterday, but I was in the holding cell in the stadium until pretty late at night, until pretty much the stadium closed. And I had a bunch of texts and calls, and then one guy I finally answered. It was from NJ.com, and uh, he just asked me some questions, and I was candid with him. And, That's right. You got uh, interviewed by the uh, New Jersey uh, local paper there uh, in the main city. Listen, can you hold, and, and after the governor leaves us, I'm going to come back and debrief you on air? Sure. All right, thank you for calling in. Our listener taking action. He's done work with We Are Change in the past as well, and he is one hell of an info warrior. I tell you, it's great to be part of this family of freedom fighters, Jesse. Oh, I'll tell you, this kid had courage and guts to do what he did, and uh, that's remarkable because just those simple words he said, and now the media jumping all over it is bringing it back into the forefront, back to the attention of the, the people of, throughout the world, which is a good thing because... We've never gotten resolution on 9-11, just as we've never gotten it on the murder of John Kennedy. And that's enough of this crap. We deserve to know the truth. Oh, by the way, uh, I went to Dallas. The Dallas police uh, di didn't follow the orders of the mayor to have anybody handing out flyers anywhere downtown to be arrested. So they hired, Homeland Security hired sheriff's deputies to uh, basically punch us and attack us on video. I don't know if you heard about that, but it was, it was, it was online and made national news. This was after the memorial and everybody was gone. The police opened up the barricade, said you can go in now to downtown. And the, and the feds had sheriff's deputies attack us. Well, and, and all of that because we don't believe the official story? Well, it's just like they censored your TV show. It's just like yeah. they're afraid of the information, which shows we have power. I'll tell you, it's amazing that they still try to perpetrate this myth on killing of Kennedy. I mean... Anybody today who believes Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone is completely naive. Uh, there's so much fact out there. There's so much you can learn about it to know that it's not true. And I, and I always tell people it's the most important thing because that's what's led to where we're at today. Had Jack Kennedy lived, I believe we would be living in a different world than what we live in today. Uh, they killed everybody that stood for peace. Because obviously there are people in the world that do not want peace. They want war. And it's that simple, Alex. Great way to end it. Uh, the TV show is on Aura.TV forward slash off the grid. You can also just Google Jesse Ventura YouTube. He's got Facebook, all of it. We have it all linked up on Infowars.com. Governor, I uh, look forward uh, to seeing you when you're back in the States. And I'll take you up on the invitation to come down and see you in Mexico. Uh, say hi to your wife and family for me. Thank you, Alex. Just when you come down, when you come down, though, don't bring no drones with you. <laughs> We'll see you off the grid, Governor. All right, bye-bye. Take care. We'll be right back with the man that took over the Super Bowl. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. 
Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888 253 3139. 